This is the code that was used to measure analog value with ADS-1115. That was imported from this example menu and uh, from this uh, Adafruit ADS-1X15. I selected this single-ended code. When you open that code, you will first meet this include uh, command. Uh, this is import libraries that is needed to run this program. First of all, wire.h is included and Adafruit ADS1015.h is included. The library is included with the name of wire and the library uh, with the name of Adafruit ADS1015. Wire library is for I2C communication with the device and uh, Adafruit ADS1015 is the library that we need for uh, for the communication with the ADS1115 in our case. Okay, these are the uh, library import and uh, the thing that we can notice is that the uh, uh, li uh, class definition, class declaration uh, line. This is the class declaration for the for the ADS1015 device. The class was declared as uh, with the name of ADS in this case. This is not the one that we need to run, so we'd like to disable this one and we have to enable this line because we are using ADS1115. This is a declaration such as like int and flo float uh, and something like that and uh, ADS is a kind of variable that was defined as this type Adafruit ADS1115 the class is somehow very uh, complicated concept that we cannot easily understand when you think about the real situation in our daily life you can understand this line this uh, class uh, concept very easily uh, Let's think about the situation. If you'd like to uh, establish a new university in your country, uh, and let's say that you, in your country you don't have any prior university uh, at all, and you just want to import that concept of university from other country, that the university is already there, then you can easily Im import that concept instead of uh, making the whole concept by yourself. That will speed up the establishment process of university in your country. Okay, let's say Harvard University in America. Then you can import that uh, the structure or uh, the, uh, the, the concept or the other uh, things that is necessary to run the university. You could import those kind of things from Harvard University. The thing that you have to do is to just change the name of that university. You can replace the name of the university from Harvard to Stanford maybe. Then you can establish a Stanford University without doing the primitive and basic things that is necessary to build up a new university, such as like establishing you know, department and defining the concept of professors and students and requirements for of the students and the dormitory and administration buildings and uh, lecture rooms, everything. You don't have to do that basic scratch uh, for the for the new university. Instead of that, you just can import the concept of university from Harvard University. Then you can build up a new university. Stanford. Of course, sometimes uh, there could there could be some function of Stanford University, which was not there in Harvard University originally. Then you can add up that function uh, very easily uh, without changing much in the structure of the whole thing, of the uh, concept of university. The class is just like that. So if you if someone has established a class, then you can just import that class, and you can name that class uh, with your name. 
in this case ADS, okay? Maybe uh, some, in some other cases you can change this uh, ADS 66, could also be possible. Afterwards, you can use the, ho the whole functions and variables and other kind of things that is included in this library with the name ADS or ADA, ADS 66. Whatever name you put on it, you can use it. This is a class. Let's just accept this is a class declaration and this is the name of the class that you are going to use. The all functions and variables and other kind of things it will be imported from the original class uh, in this Adafruit ADS 115. That means with the name of ADS you can use uh, functions which was uh, already defined in this class. You can use those functions with this name. Okay, as usual, the first function that we can encounter is set of function. In set of function, we started a serial communication, and after the start of serial communication, we just wrote uh, some messages such as like uh, hello. Okay, this is just like a kind of information that you'd like to show for the users. Uh, these are all comments, so we will uh, pass this. But before we pass all the things, we should notice that this is default setting for uh, gain value for your ADS uh, board. ADS dot set gain is the function to set the gain of your of your board. This is the default gain setting here. Uh, however, however uh, if you would like to change the, the uh, gain, then you can disable this uh, one of these uh, comments sign on one of these lines. Uh, uh, if you just keep all this comment comment sign in front of the in front of all the lines, then this line is the default will be set as a default. That means uh, gain one uh, two thirds is the uh, uh, original uh, is a default set for the gain. After you set uh, the gain of your board, then ads.begin will initialize your board. And then it will go to a void loop function. And the first thing is to define the integer variable with the name ads0, 1, 2, 3. And all these variables will be assigned with the value which was read from the port 0, 1, 2, 3. Ads dot read ads single ended is the function that will read uh, the value from the from the specified board actually this uh, read adc single ended function is uh, pre uh, originally defined in this class that's why we could use this functions because uh, the variable ad was ads was declared uh, was declared as the uh, class with the name of ads1115 so uh, we can use this function. These lines are for uh, writing those values which were coming into these uh, uh, ports on the screen. Okay, and then at the end of the uh, at the end of the loop uh, function, you will meet the uh, delay, one thousand millisecond, which is uh, one second. So, and then it will go in go up to the first line of this loop function and then it will repeat all the things again and again. This is the code for the reading of analog input value uh, which is coming into this ADS1115. The whole communication was done using the uh, I2C uh, communication since this uh, include wire.h enables the I2C communication and those I2C communication is done in this class.